Welcome back to Elden Ring. We were going to look at the area between the inner and outer gates of the capital, but there's some other things to do first. My wife was wondering how to get down to this building kind of near the um, Volcano Manor. And so we were looking into it and realizing that it seems like you go through a valley that's here and goes along here and uh, oh yeah, this one. This valley, which then leads to all this stuff. And then I was trying to find a way up there, looking for maybe a spirit spring or something, and it turns out you could just walk up there. Just right from the Urtree Gazing Hill. You just walk up here. Yeah, I think what happened before is I probably kind of saw that statue and saw that it was pointing probably just to this thing. So I was like, eh. And then just went into this valley rather than going up. And then forgot you can just walk up here. So, yeah. I poked my head up here and it said the beast eye quivers and then there was a boss, so I ran away. <laughs> Is it going to quiver again? Uh, it didn't give me the message, but yeah, here's the boss. Tibia Mariner. Oh! Cool, that's new. Oh, that's so cool. What else can you summon? I'm sure I could kill the Mariner real quick, so I want to see more of the attacks before I do. <laughs> Mariners have been complete pushovers so far. Where is? Where are they? Ah! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and the destructible buildings, also so cool. There you are. Another thing for Gronk. And Tibia's summons. Wait. Is that a spell? That wasn't an Ash of War. Or Ash, rather. Sorcery? Ah, oh, it takes Int and Faith. Summon a group of those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear some distance from the caster and attack foes before disappearing. The dead have long been left to wander. What they need is leadership. I think there's a weapon art that did a similar thing. Yeah, let's see if the statue does point to the cave that we've already been to. If I can't use it, then it's already been visited. But actually, looking where it's pointing, I don't think it is. It's pointing off somewhere over there. It's pointing quite far up as well.
That's not a good sound. wary of pack. Trick Talisman plus one. Boosts non physical damage negation. Ah, oh, right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this sacrificial twig. Although I do still have a lot of souls, but. I was just worried about losing them off camera when I was exploring around for how to get here. But I don't mind dying on camera. this oh that's probably what the statue was pointing to mm-hmm windham catacombs probably windham windham sounds better than windham
That's odd. I don't normally see them like this. Without a key to put in them? <laughs> Someone left a message message up there. Kind of want to read it. No death ahead. Okay, once again, I'm going to try the Naginata. It's not very well upgraded. Lightning Scorpion Charm. Raises lightning attack, but lowers damage negation. Hmm. Not falling for that. I see the spikes.
Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 1. Lightning Grease, Drawstring, Lightning Grease, Lightning Bone Arrow, Arrow Fletched, and Bolt. I bet I can get it if I do this. Oh, hey. go. Let's get more vigor. And let's go face the boss. Could this be a dog? Could this be a beast? Glovewort Pickers Bell Bearing. So that'll be for getting glove warts from the store. Back to exploring out here. I looked at all the ruins that were above the water, I think. So let's check the ones in the water. I always get very confused about runes because they all look the same. So I'm like, where have I been and where have I not been? Entering Mount Mount Gelnir. Gelmir? Near? For oh there was an M or an N. See the water river. But yeah, that should lead up here and hmm. Maybe that allows us to get to that place over here that I was never able to figure out how to get to. But it should also lead to this. Wait, where's this gonna go? I think this actually might lead to these buildings that we see here on the outskirts of Volcano Manor. Hmm, I think that's an exit only.
just double check there's nothing up here in this corner. Whoa, I just saw... Wait, is that the one we were just in? Oh, it is. Looks like it would hurt. Need you. I saw the tail sticking out. Oh, I think I saw this item from the bridge at some point. See the water cave. Oh, I did have another sacred tear. I thought I maybe did. Don't think I have five golden seeds. No, I did. Wow, okay. Someone said poison ahead. Let me get some boluses ready. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll.
Oh wait, these are beasts. Right? Yeah, I don't have to kill them. Left and then try right. Okay. Already been there. What is over here to the right? Mushroom head, body, arms, and legs. Mushroom armor? It doesn't really look like it, the mushrooms are actually attached to anything at all. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms have colonized the head. To those enraptured by the scarlet rot, they are holy vestments that root one to the earth. Is this my new style? No. Same description. It's a uh, definitely unique look. <laughs> Just a couple mushrooms on my arms. Oh, you can barely see them. Let's go right this time.
Oh, that's such a cool looking talisman. Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Poisoning or rot in vicinity increases attack power. Oh, yeah, we have one that does that for blood. This one. What the hell? Where did they all come from? Oh, shit. Hole ahead. See the water terminus. Yeah, we're really close to that little castle. There's a fight going on over there. Looks like Lindell soldiers versus fire dudes. Yeah, these are fire dudes. I don't remember their actual names. There's a real heavy boy in there. Let's check around the area first. Oh, the back's kind of protected. Let's try to be sneaky.
Oh, hey. Yeah, froze him. Can I walk in this stuff? Like, hold on. Let me out. Let me out. There you go. Like, do we have to really, really slow walk? Yeah. Okay, I know it hurts Torrent, but I think we can run with Torrent in it? Let's see. How badly does it hurt you, buddy? Oh, not too bad. We can go way, way, way faster. I'll feed him lots of berries. have a conversation with them while burning. Am I safe here? Okay. Ah, good lady. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing though is impeccable as ever i've been making just the thing for you on my journey here take it i'm sure it'll suit you to a t hey thanks but, uh, it's hardly more than lukewarm here i won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again perhaps i'll head eastward there's an old saying i've caught wind of Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Well, that's where we're headed for the main quest at some point. Off to the east, yeah. Beyond the lift of rolled. So how about that pot? Jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned, made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander. In a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pot items. Yeah, no thank you. Oh my god. Can we actually kind of like jump up there? <laughs> I don't think I want to. Thank you, Torrent. Oh, 
What are we looking down on? The unsightly catacombs? First off, left. Here, then try ranged battle. I mean, it's just a bunch of demi-humans. There's a lump of magma that explodes after delay. Oh, that statue can be broken. Is there a giant nearby? Oh, I guess you can break it. Yes, there we go. Three smithing stone sixes. Be bear. Ah, yeah, it's heading around here.
God, I'm so far away from the castle. Oh well, let's keep going. Ooh. Crossbow made with pulleys and power springs, the complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned Golden Order fundamentalism. One touch fires a volley of bolts. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent. Let's actually see just how many it shoots. I guess I'll craft a bunch of Bone arrows? Sure. Oh wait, no, that it's a crossbow, it takes bolts. Do I have any bolts? Like surely I've found some. Everything in that slot is all arrows. Yeah, here's bolts. I have plenty. Okay, so this is... Actually, let's get this first. This is a norm... <laughs> oh, did they give you all these sheep to test it out on? I'm not going to do it. This is a norm... Normal attack? Three? Load. Fire. Yeah, normal attack does three. Strong attack. Oh, right. Just fires different bolts. I keep forgetting that about bows and crossbows. Yeah, three at a time. I guess it's that same bow that that one enemy uses on us with firing fire bolts. And the special is... Oh, kick, and it can't be changed. Hmm. Was that? Oh. They're so tiny. Of course, this thing's terrible and upgraded. Is that one special? Yeah, that does not look like the others. Um, I think it's missing a head. Also, it seems a bit extra out of control. taking down trees. Oh, 
Hermit Village. Sorcerer manchettes. Aaron Sorcerer boots. Robe altered. The manchettes looked pretty elegant. I think they had like finger jewels. Rattling Pate, you're beautiful. That's the one that Elon Musk used on me <laughs> during a summons. You're beautiful. Thanks, Elon. He wrote us Glintstone Crown. One of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy. Increases intelligence and endurance to the detriment of FP. Endurance goes up by 2. Int goes up by 2. FP goes down by 17, which is pretty steep. Oh, it's like, it's like the sorcerer from Ray Lucaria is, I don't know, teaching or commanding the demi-humans, and they're just patiently watching and learning. It's like they have a little class going on here. Interesting. Human Queen Maggie. Stone. <laughs> I feel bad for killing the demi-humans. Like, Maggie just wanted to be a sorcerer. 
and was doing a damn good job of it. Someone friendly to talk to? What's on the other side of that? Oh, that leads across to here. Maybe that's how we get inside this fortress of jagged rocks. That would explain why there's a side of grace here too. Comet Azur. That's so strange how we tried to talk with them and all that happened is they just slowly opened their hand and I guess gave us the Comet Azur. Are you okay? What's happened to you? Sorcery time for chaos. Okay, let's look at that new armor. Hmm. What was the headpiece? Did it come with a headpiece? Errant sorcerer robes altered. Definitely not my thing. The manchettes were the most promising thing, so I'll save that for last. Errant sorcerer boots. Let's take that off so we can see it. Hmm. Not very elegant. Now, was there an errant sorcerer headpiece? Don't see it. Anyway, manchettes. Oh, I thought those were jewels, but they're actually like... stones? Like part of my skin stones, not a decoration. Commonplace leather manchettes. Their hands are inlaid with dulled glintstone. So it is glintstone, just dulled. It's a cool change of pace. I'm going to go with it. It's pretty elegant looking. Comet Azure. 60 int. Oh, this thing must be really good, right? Fires a tremendous comet within a starry torrent. Takes 40 FP. Three slots. <gasps> Oh, that sounds amazing. I That's the first spell I have that takes three slots. I only have like two spells that even take two slots. So 40 FP, that is a little bit less than four times what a Great Glenstone Shard takes. And mm, a, bit, a little bit less than double what Comet takes. Let's test it out and head to the castle. We'll test it out on the way. Let's see, I'm just... Whoa. Let's just tap it. Oh, it's that! The attack that um, Ranala does on you. At the very beginning of the fight. Yeah, terrible against that thing, of course. I might be able to hold it down, I'm just tapping it. Oh yeah, you can hold it down. What's the range on this? Let's see. Let's get him from the furthest range, so it can't target, can't target lock them. Here. And I guess I'll hold it down. Oh, 
oh, it just keeps burning energy if you hold it down all the way until your FP's gone. All the way until your FP's gone? How much stamina does this take? Well, I'm not in combat, so none. Here, let's try this. Does it not take any stamina at all? No, it does, but it only takes stamina for the initial bit and then doesn't take it for the rest. This is the perfect spell to combine with that, like, 10 seconds of no FP use tier. Yeah, check this out. You dare interrupt me? But yeah, I could imagine that'd be extremely powerful against something that has a lot of hit points. Obviously, it doesn't matter on these tiny enemies. I also want to try Comet Azur against something that's fleshy, not that armored thing, because I don't know how much damage it actually does. But yeah, that is the perfect spell for that thing. Let's try it on you. I'm going to tap it. Hmm. So it doesn't track or anything like that. Meaning if the enemy moves, you're screwed. If I hold it down, does it track at all? No, not really. Okay, yeah, I think against most enemies this spell's terrible, but against something that's, like, very large, where it's gonna be hit by it, and aim isn't so important, I think it could be incredibly powerful, especially when mixed with that physic thing. Being able to do just like a full 10 second burst constantly. That could be extremely powerful. But definitely not a general spell. Not like Glintstone Shard or Comet. In fact, maybe I should use it on you. You're not that big, but... Let's try it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. I have a laser beam from hell. Wow. Melted. Just melted. Prelate's Inferno Crozier. What the hell is that? Colossal Weapon. Prelate's Charge. But the uh, special ability can be changed, so I guess it's not that special. But I've never seen that before. It's extremely heavy. 23. Takes 45 strength. <laughs> oh, wow. Colossal Hammer with the appearance of Roiling Flames. Weapon of the Prelates who lead the Fire Monks. Its heft represents the weight of their guardianship. The Hammer's head is unusually substantial and strong attacks will fling foes into the air. Prelates charge, slam armament into the ground to create a surge of flames, then charge in. Hold to continue the charge. Oh, that sounds incredibly cool, but I will never, ever, ever be able to use that. What does it look like, though? Damn. Can I do the charge? Yeah, I can. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that's so fun! 
Oh, that's so fun. I could just keep doing this. If I'm not in combat, it doesn't use stamina or anything. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it puts me under heavy load. Hmm. Cookbook 7. Giant's Flame Fire Pot. Is that just a really big pot? I think so. Heavy fire damage. Who's talking? The wretched fools? They'll never find me. Here? I mean, that's rather suspicious. An already open chest? Was it them? I'll survive, I swear it. I'll soon be back at the Volcano Manor. But judging by the fact that they're a spirit now, I don't think they did survive it. Fire Scorpion Charm. Raises fire attack, but lowers damage negation. It seems like there's a charm for every damage type. Don't have them all yet, but soon. Anyway, what's up with this chest? I guess somebody looted it. Maybe that person. Like, maybe that's the story. They looted this, stole it, and then tried to hide out over there. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head across this spike and head into this area of the sharp rocks.